It's been six months since Oscar De La Hoya knocked out Ricardo Mayorga here in Las Vegas, rejuvenating his own career and his image within the sport. The happiest man in the building that night was Floyd Mayweather, as Mayweather set his sights on a possible mega matchup with the sport's most popular fighter, thinking that maybe it would mean as much as 15 or $20 million for Floyd, who has waited for that kind of purse as he's made his tour up to the number one pound for pound ranking. But De La Hoya is still waiting and making Mayweather wait. And eventually Floyd took a defense, maybe the toughest title defense, or the toughest, I should say, a defense of his pound for pound status yet, as he takes on Carlos Baldemir, a welterweight fighter who walks around in the mid 180s. Let's get ready for the main event. Carlos Baldemir and Floyd Mayweather, one a former journeyman, the other boxing's flashiest superstar. Divergent backgrounds converge in the ring. For 35-year-old Carlos Baldemir, the path to success was anything but easy. Throughout a career spent globetrotting for minuscule paydays, he sold feather dusters on the streets to feed his family. But in January, everything changed. After 13 years, nine losses, the Argentine got his break, humiliating welterweight champion Zab Judah. Capitalizing on the life-altering upset, he took on Arturo Gatti in July, an underdog yet again. Arturo Gatti is ruined, absolutely ruined, by a Baldemir left hook. His hard luck days now behind him, the legitimate 147-pound champion looks to stun the boxing world again, this time by knocking off boxing's best. At age 29, Floyd Mayweather's talent has never been questioned. Brilliant, clean, hard shots for pretty boy Floyd. The brash kid from Michigan was groomed for stardom at an early age, his first pro title coming easily at 21. Oh, what a vicious uppercut by Floyd Mayweather. Tonight, the pound-for-pound -pound king seeks a defining victory to enhance his legacy. Standing in his way, an iron-jawed welterweight who has shaken up the division twice. All roads in boxing leads to Floyd Mayweather. All roads. I'm the future of boxing. Two disparate lives, one common goal. Can Carlos Baldemir's resolve help him ace his toughest test? Or will pretty boy Floyd's skills keep him atop the pound for pound list? Find out next. Carlos Valdemir and Floyd Mayweather for the welterweight championship of the world. Mayweather, widely recognized as the best in the sport, has never faced a fighter with the natural size and strength of Carlos Valdemir. And while Floyd remains a solid favorite in the fight, many believe Valdemir possesses the tools to give Mayweather all he can handle. Valdemir versus Mayweather is being brought to you by Mandalay Bay, boxing at its best. Tycoon Armagnac, you don't just sip it, you live it. True Dat Entertainment, the leader in urban talent and music. Ice Link Watches, exclusive timepieces. And by HBO Pay-Per-View, the best in pay-per-view entertainment brought to you by HBO. Carlos Baldemir has not lost a fight in almost eight years, yet he seemed to come out of nowhere in 2006 with victories over Zab Judah and Arturo Gatti, both of whom he beat in their hometowns. Tonight, he promises to shock the boxing world one more time by knocking out Floyd Mayweather in his hometown of Las Vegas. Mayweather enters tonight's bout supremely confident that his speed and skills will be too much for Valdemir to handle. And few have been more dominant in big fights over the course of their careers than Mayweather, who looks to turn in yet another brilliant performance while claiming Valdemir's 147-pound world championship. Tiger Woods, Denzel Washington, Charles Barkley, Magic Johnson, James Tony, Tommy Lasorda, 
Pete Rose, many others, including Michael Jordan, here to honor Floyd Mayweather, who is regarded as the best active fighter in the world and who is taking on an extremely tough challenge tonight in fighting Carlos Baldemir, or so we say. One thing that could make it tough, the absence of Mayweather's regular trainer, Roger Mayweather, whose uncle, who has trained him for the past few years, he wouldn't have been here tonight anyway. And let's took a look, take a look at the reasons why. Because of this melee that took place in the 10th round of Mayweather's fight earlier this year against Zab Judah, when Judah fouled Mayweather twice and touched off the in-the-ring brawl that was prompted by the arrival over the top rope of Roger, or through the ropes, I should say, of Roger Mayweather to, in his view, defend his nephew from mayhem. Roger was suspended by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. He would have been able to train his nephew for the fight in the gym, but not to be here tonight to talk to him in the corner. But then in September, Roger Mayweather was convicted of battery in an incident involving the grandmother of one of his children. And because of that conviction, he is serving a six month sentence in the Clark County Detention Center. Earlier today, our camera visited the Clark County Detention Center where an interview can be conducted only via a video monitor for a conversation with Roger Mayweather about tonight. Well, I told him uh, to make the fight the easiest fight possible with uh, Bartimir. And the key with a guy like Bartimir, Bartimir comes straight forward. And it ain't like he do something special. What you have to do with my nephew is give him a strategy. He gonna stay with the strategy. But my recommendation to be would be to do what he do best. Do what he do naturally. If Floyd stick to the game plan and and uh, be Floyd, box, box, be smart. Uh, keep that jab on him, it's going to be an easy fight. He has to sell for it one thing. Stay off the ropes, keep fainting him, and keep checking him. That's all you have to do. Well, no, I trained him pretty much before I came in here. I still got to do my time. So once I do my time, then I'll be back to doing what I was doing before I came in here. And I was training for it, other fighters before I came here. So I don't think it's going to be anything different then when I get out. Now we're back live at ringside with our expert commentator and the most celebrated trainer in the sport, Emmanuel Stewart. Emmanuel Floyd Mayweather is as experienced, as aware, as knowledgeable as any 29-year-old fighter could be because of his background. But could there be a moment tonight in this fight when he could miss the voice of his Uncle Roger in the corner? Yes. First of all, I believe that Floyd is in for a scuffle tonight. And if things get to be a little rough, he really needs to have someone that he can hear, a voice that he's used to listening to, that can give him some instructions. So in particular, a guy like Roger, who himself was a fighter, a world champion. Because this fight does not have to be necessarily an easy fight. Wet will be determined after the first two or three rounds. Whenever a fighter's as good as Floyd Mayweather, whenever an athlete is as dominant as Floyd has been, there's a wish for competition. And Larry Merchant, it would have been impossible for all of us not to fall somewhat in love with Valdemir's great story having come from selling feather dusters on the streets to get to where he is now. Have we given him too much of a chance? Who isn't a sucker for a great story, Jim? Even if he is a 4-1 to one underdog. It's a real story. Feather dusters to riches, journeyman to champion. At 35, Carlos Valdemir is real. But Floyd Mayweather, in his prime, is considered an unreal virtuoso, an unreal boxing savant. I guess maybe the question is, is he the one who is exaggerated? We shall wait and see. We're about to find out in just a few minutes. Now, tail of the tape for Mayweather and Baldemir. And you can see that Carlos Baldemir is 35 years old. He's really had two careers, one as a journeyman, during which he lost nine times and had six draws. The second as a star fighter with a view of himself built on success. And in that sense, he's an unbeaten fighter. He hasn't lost in nearly eight years. Mayweather, 36 and 0. One inch height advantage for Floyd. A two and a half inch arm length advantage, which could be significant from the armpit to the end of the fist for Floyd. He weighed in at 146. 
and showing what magnificent shape he's been in, the fact that he's a gym rat, the fact that this is the highest weight at which he's ever fought. He goes up overnight only to 149. Carlos Valdemir, who walks around at about 185, weighed in at 147, and was exultant at the fact that he was able to weigh in and make weight instantly upon stepping onto the scale. Tonight he weighs 162, unofficially. So unofficially, a 13-pound weight advantage for Baldemir in the fight tonight. Rules of the bout, whether unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Carlos Baldemir, Floyd Mayweather fight, is scheduled for 12 rounds using the Unified Rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. In case the cut is caused by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards if the four rounds have been completed and he could not be saved by the bell in any round including the 12th and final round Jim Lloyd Mayweather has already held world titles at 130 135